You? Is anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends, the Goldbergs, are here. Yes, it's the Does program. Does, you know, is the new kind of soap for everything in your wash. First, let's visit the Dozum family. Uh-oh, there's Ma and Pa Dozum in the kitchen having a snack before bedtime. Ma's upset. Pa Dozum, your language is getting frightful. Well, what do you mean, Ma? Why, right in front of the minister's wife, you said, Does is a gull darn good soap. Well, ain't it? Couldn't you just say, Does is a new kind of soap? Or that it's wonderful? Well, Ma, maybe I don't express it right, but I let folks know does does everything in our wash, don't I? But, Pa, when I told the minister's wife does does work shirts, towels, and pretty rayons, what did you say? I said, cut me down and call me shorty if it don't. That's shocking, Pa. And when I was telling her does gets work shirts clean without any hard scrubbing and that I didn't even need a bar soap anymore, what did you say? Well, I just said uh, does gets dirt out all by itself. And you can put that in your pipe and smoke it. Imagine to the minister's wife. And when I told her does gets towels dazzling white... I said does is famous for whiteness by Jingo Johnny. <gasps> And worst of all, Pa, was when I mentioned how Does is safer for the pretty rayon she washes. You said, yes, Does gives longer life to the colors in your undies. Oh, she blushed, Pa. It's true, Ma. Does does it. Yet you can beat it for getting grimy clothes clean. I know, Pa. I'm sorry, Ma. From now on, I'm just going to say Does does everything without one gall darn slang word by Jingo Johnny. Oh, Pa. Well, Pa may not say it to suit Ma, but he knows that compared to other leading granulated wash day soaps, Does gives longer life to colors, plus unsurpassed whiteness and real cleaning power for the tough dirt. Does, D-U-Z, does everything in your wash. And now the Goldbergs. Day by day, a wasteland of misunderstanding, harshness, bitterness opens wider between Rosie and her parents. This is a strange and horrible thing for the Goldbergs, for the family has always been knit together by the deepest understanding and love. Intimate, sensitive, continuous. But Rosie has taken a position which Jake and Molly simply can't fathom. Rosie has some money for college, and she refuses to give it up to help out her sister-in-law, Grace, Sammy's wife. Rosie dislikes Grace, suspects her, mistrusts her, whereas Jake and Molly have fallen head over heels in love with the girl. Well, now, we know Rosie is right, but there's no way of proving it now. And so Rosie is just being stubborn and taking the consequences. Meanwhile, Jake and Molly are making every effort to raise the money Grace claims she needs. It's early morning now, and Molly is up. Listen. Rosalind? Yes. Good morning. Morning. Did you fix the straps on my slip, Ma? Yes, I put it in your drawer. Oh, thank you. Rosalind, you, you didn't change your mind? Because I would rather Papa didn't have to get the money for Grace from Mr. Mendel. I'll be late for school, Ma. Very well. Very well. Because you don't like your brother's wife, you... Ma. Would you? All right, Rosalind. Uncle David, Uncle David is only an uncle. If he said no when Papa asked him to lend him, it's because... Ma, I'll be late for school. All right. Look out, Sporty. Look out, look out from under my feet. I have to fix breaks. Look out, please. So early. Calling so early. Hello, morning. Oh, yes, Luella. Yeah, Rosalie's up. She's just dressing herself. One minute, Good dear. Morning. Uh, you who to Rosalie, David, please. Uh, you who? Uh, you, uh, Rosie? What, what shall I tell her? Lavella's on the phone. Uh, one minute, Lavella. She's coming directly. Lavella's on the phone, Rosie. One minute. Uh, one minute. W one minute, Lavella. Morning, Molly. Morning, David. You want your hot water? Mm, yes, please. Good morning. Morning. Hello? Oh, yes, Luella. Molly, no time. Yes. I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. Here, David. Mm, yes. yes. Thank you, Molly. Well, I... Welcome. Yes, Luella. Excuse me. I, I can't tell you why, Luella, but I'm not going to Randall. 
No, and, and I, I don't want anyone to know, but I'm not going. Rosalie, you're not going to Randall College? You told Mama you're not going. All right, huh? Luella. I, I'll see you later. I'll be late. I'm not dressed yet. Goodbye. You, you're not going to Randall College? Nope. So, so you're going to give Grace the money from your policy, I'm glad Rosa? that you didn't tell Mama and Papa that you sent for your money, Uncle David. Well, then it'll be here. I'll, I'll tell them. Yes. What are you standing? Your dress, Rosalie? What did Luella want? Um, nothing. She called you uh, for nothing so early? About some work. Oh, so get dressed. Uncle David, can I see you a minute? Uncle David is drinking his hot water. No, I'm, I'm finished. Oh, you'll be down for breakfast soon, David? Yes, come, Rosalie. Yes, Uncle David. Yes, come. Hurry, you'll be late. Look out, Spody. You're so annoying when I'm nervous. Come, come outdoors. Come outdoors. I don't know what a lazy big dog in the house. Come outdoors. Come outdoors. It's spring already. Stay on the porch. Go, go. And I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Nervous and I'm not humorous. I'm nervous. Oh. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Jake, dear. Who is up? Nobody. I'm somebody, no? You're everybody. Everybody, Molly. Sit, Jake, darling. If you are spilling me, spill yourself also. I had coffee already. So have tea. I'll take milk. Grace is not up yet? Not yet. Did you tell her not to worry? I didn't want to say anything, Jake, till be sure the money would be here. If Mendel said he would send, he'll send it. But I thought maybe... Did you tell your daughter that a stranger is obliging me? Jake, darling. Don't find excuses, Molly. She's your child, but don't find excuses for her. They are none. All right. Only I thought... Now don't start. Rosie is good, Jake. Not good enough. She's a child. But not a baby. But Jake... Stop, I... Molly. Only one voice. I don't want to hear her even a syllable. Just, I mean, don't you think... I don't. Think. Was Rosalie ever selfish? She never had anything to call her own. Even with a bag of candy? Candy is not money. To a child, candy is more than money. But what does a penny mean to a child, Jake? I mean, it means gumdrops, lollipops, ice cream cones. Did Rosalie ever buy herself a peanut even without bringing some home? Never, Jake. That's why I can't understand it, Jake. I can't see and I can't understand. You can't see because you're a mother. Why don't she like Grace, Jake? Because she likes herself more. Well, Grace will have the money, even though it takes the rest of my life to pay it back. Drink, dear. Maybe, maybe this will hurt you, Molly, but... All right, Jake. If it'll hurt me, don't say it. I have to say it. Jake. I must. Jake, dear. If such a thing is possible, Molly, I love my daughter-in-law more at this moment than I love my own daughter. <laughs> Jake, let me bother you, Jake. Molly, that my own daughter should do All it. right, Jake, please. I'm a disillusioned man, Molly. Rosalie, maybe it's just because she... Not can... only Rosalie. Was David any better? Did David come over and say, Jake, if you need anything, I'll... He's an old man, Jake. Just because he is old. How much longer has he got to do good deeds? David, I don't hold anything. You don't. I do. Whatever he has is for him. I mean, David. Morning. Morning. Morning, Jake. Good morning, David. Sit, David. I'll fix you breakfast. Thank you. Boil you, David. Anything. Anything. I can fry you or boil you or turn you over, whichever what. Anything. All right, boil me. What time does the mail come in? The, the first mail? As usual. What's as usual? Expecting something? Why not? Something else, Jake? No, thank you. I need nothing else. Morning. Morning. You're finished, Jake? Yes, thank you. Jake. I'm finished, Molly. Jake, I'm... Don't start. Jake. Goodbye. Papa won't sit at the table with me. You'll be late, Rosalind. Tell Mama you're not going to Randall College. Uncle David, please. I wrote to my bank, Molly. Jake don't have to think that I'm such a bad friend, neither, Molly. Oh, David, 
David, why did you have to go and say that? I, I heard you, you, you say, I heard you say you're not going to Randall College. But Uncle College. David, I didn't it's mean... It's all right if you change your but mind. But Uncle David, why it's did you... It's all right, Rosalind. A person needs time to think things out. You taught but it I, out. But I just told Rosalie, you... Rosalind, the right way is always the easiest way. It's not way. that, Uncle David, it's just the... To say thank you, Rosalind. There's nothing to thank me for, Pa. Mama told me. That 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 has nothing to do with the money, Pa. Huh? I'm not going to Randall, but I'm not turning over the money either. Rosalind. Grace isn't going to get any of the money that you worked so hard for. But Rosalind. She, you, you saved it for me. You saved it for something good and something useful. Not to give her so she can help her sister who's nothing but a thief. Rosie. I'm not going to Randall because I don't want you to think that I put the college before anything else. But I'm not going to go. I, I couldn't go now. I, I wouldn't go now. But, but I'm not going to let you and Mama take that money and throw it away on someone like Grace, even if she is Sammy's wife. Rosalie, and I'm, I'm not going to let you take Uncle David's money either. You're just blind. You and Mama are just blind. You, you won't see what Grace is. You're all bewildered because you're thinking of Sammy away somewhere in danger, and you're giving Grace the benefit of your feelings. Well, she doesn't deserve them, and she won't get them from me. Well, if there were anything Rosie could say or do that would further isolate her from her own family, this is it. But Rosie is right, and Jake and Molly are wrong. Yet no one has any way of knowing just what's wrong with the girl whom Sammy married. You know, the time you spend with your friends on this program goes quickly, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, sometimes a friendly visit makes you lose all track of time. Take what happened to Unky Dozum. He said... I was visiting that pretty witty yesterday, and I got so interested telling her about does for dishes that before I knew it, I had dozed all her supper dishes. Well, does is a fascinating subject, because besides doing everything in the wash, does has everything for dishes, too. Why this new kind of soap makes suds that stand up till the last dish is done. Cuts grease like 60, yet it's kinder to hands. Yes, those does suds really stand up. You don't have to keep adding soap. And does cuts tough grease in less than half a minute, yet it treats hands better than any other leading granulated wash day soap. Tried does yet? It has everything for dishes. And remember, during wartime, don't waste soap. Soap contains vitally needed war materials, so measure does carefully into your dish pan. Make every bit of does you use do more. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs, written for you by Gertrude Berg. Rosie finds out intuition isn't enough when it comes to solving wickedness. This is Clayton Collier speaking for Procter & Gamble and saying, do as the dozens do. Let does, the new kind of soap, do everything in your watch.